What were we talking about? I, can't remember. I have no idea. No. Uh, no you, oh, you, oh, of course. I was actually, no, well, that's the last time I ever did Dalek Voices. The very last one, uh, I don't know which it was, Resurrection. Re Remembrance. Remembrance. Was did, it? Also, did you, they, they, the Daleks were on location going through um, 1988. Earth, then. Did you go on location and do the voice there, or did you double them in the studio? No, didn't in the studio. Okay. It's actually the first one you were completely in studio. And well, the, the first one, one, we were hidden in amongst the sets yeah. on the floor, and it came to the last day. You know, a uh, 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 floor manager would talk to a Dalek and say, uh, Are you all right in there? And I go, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, so, so, or, or, you know, uh, they sort of, half of their brain thought we were in there. Um, well, did, did you, in rehearsals, go back to rehearsal studios, yeah. we talked about the Acton Hills earlier, which is now, as you probably know, is virtually demolished. Is it really? Yeah, it's virtually gone. It'll be gone in the next couple of weeks. I know. But you, you would be in rehearsal studios. You're being moved to Solihull. <laughs> <laughs> Stratf um, no, Salford, isn't it? Salford. That's it, yeah. yeah. But would you, I mean, would you be in the rehearsal studios at the Acton Hills and then, and the Daleks are going around in your city, they're going yeah, like, yeah. it's literally like that. Yeah, and walk around with them as they move from set to set and just, uh, just do it. Um, which is all a bit silly, really, because it was a real waste of time. The last one we did, there, there were white Daleks and silver Daleks and gold Daleks and black Daleks and the gunmetal ones. Um, and uh, it was the first time a Dalek had gone upstairs. So, yep. Uh, um, and th so they booked three of us, four of us, I can't remember that. <laughs> and we, were all, we were all there. Well, you, so you only did the one voice, you didn't have a, a one down here and a one up there? Well, well, yes, this is what they expected, you see. Um, but uh, unfortunately, all of us had other things to do. <laughs> and we were <laughs> in a little room on the gallery, yeah. and they couldn't see us. But I think it's fair to say that at any one time, there was only one of us <laughs> <laughs> talking to himself. <laughs> I went a good day, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you were covering for each other? Yes, as, as it turned out. I mean, but I mean, the th thing was that no matter what we did, it voice sounded the same. <laughs> but you know, it was, it was a bit of fun. It was tremendous fun, and I think that behind everything, um, there was this element of fun and pent-up energy, <laughs> because in, in one way it's quite ridiculous, isn't it? In one way. What, the whole thing? Well, being an actor. Well, 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 yeah, well, I'm dressing up, and, I mean, you know, in a few weeks I'll be putting on ladies' clothes and, and saying, oh, I'd like to slip one in, don't you? <laughs> and, uh, yes. Oh, how jolly dare you. Now, um, I, do, I've done, I do that in Andrew, it's very fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's just good, isn't it? Yeah. I can't live without it. <laughs> Every Christmas. Where do you do it? Of silk. Uh, Guildford. Guildford. Is it yeah. the Ivana? Yeah. 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 What are you doing this year? Uh, Sleeping Beauty. Oh, quick plug. And your dame's name? Uh, oh, uh, uh, Nurse. Uh, Nurse Betty, I suppose. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm not sure. We, we've really kind of... We, we, we might have changed that. No, but it's the nurse. Yeah, yeah. 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 And um, I look particularly attractive. <laughs> <laughs> 52E. <laughs> Mine are 52 when I wear them. No. Well, they are. Do you have the extra strapping on the bra? Uh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Well, tell me that. <laughs> I'll tell you in the bar after. Yes. You know oh, extra strapping on the underpants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we could share some intimacy. <laughs> we, we could. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. No, 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 no. Well, before that, they were doing. Um, uh, funny, uh, Ray Cooney is... You do a lot of Ray Cooney, A musical, yeah. A musical? Yeah. And I'm playing Mr Music. What uh, play is this then? Uh, it's called Stop Dreaming. Don't know that one. Or Dreaming. No, it's the music of Chas and Dave. Oh, right. I don't strike you. Yes, I can tell. <coughs> I can tell you made a quick uh, evaluation of this. I just thought... <laughs> <laughs> and what was my response? <laughs> Pretty glum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, this should be interesting. He'd been trying to get it off the ground for uh -huh. ages. And we're just doing it for a couple of weeks at Windsor, a couple of weeks at Guildford. So they'd have heard all my jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you do quite a bit. Do you, how often do you play the millet sonning? Are you, is oh, oh, like I try and do it every summer. I didn't this year because I was doing a tour with um, uh, Tom Conti, uh, a new play uh, by Eric Chappell, you know. Yeah, uh, uh, Rising Down. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, it was a lovely play. And 
we haven't been able to find a home for it. So, so, so yeah, it's going to go down to touring home and it will come back again in a few years' time. Well, maybe. yeah, well, we, you know, we had a, we a really successful tour, but um, nobody sort of noticed. <laughs> Apart from, I mean, you've, we wish, you've done a voices, you've done a lot of radios, a lot of adverts, you've done TV, you have done some films, and Up Pompeii was one of them. <laughs> Yes, the movie version, where yeah. you played, because they basically replaced most of the characters with similar yeah. characters from the TV. <coughs> yeah. You played the son who kept on coming up with all the O's, didn't you? Nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> it was nauseous. In, in uh, Up the Chastity Belt, it was uh, not weed. <laughs> Same, uh, identical role. Basically. Identical role, only medieval. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I vow to thee, my heart and soul, to thee, most beauteous Venus, all that I... Uh, now then. <laughs> Oh, poor boy, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All that I own, and what is more, a half a yard of gold brocade. I... <laughs> you still remember that 40 yeah. years on? Yeah, <laughs> I do. Now, people have a habit of coming up to you and, and reciting it to well, you. Well, I'm, I'm <laughs> glad I haven't done that, but it's, it's one of the... It's a, I, lo I just love it. The cast is unbelievable. Oh, fabulous film. cast. Presumably yeah. all paid two and sixpence, were you? Yeah. Yeah, it was... Um, no, uh, Terry Glynwood, Ned Sharon. Oh, um, Ned Sharon. Yeah, Shred, Ned. You see, I mean, they just had this brilliant idea. Um, I wasn't in the third one. I was going to be in, I don't know, four out of every six or something. Um, the next one was um, up the front. Which wasn't very good, if I remember. Uh, right. No, I wasn't, and I wasn't in it. Oh, that's why. It wasn't. Well, I, just, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> draw any conclusion. Um, <laughs> but, uh, and then the... the, the the next one, which never got made because they'd cancelled them all by then, uh, was uh, poor Ned had lost all his money, I think. Something awful had happened. Um, which was up Dick. <laughs> well, we'd, we'd had carry on Dick by then, there was a bit too much of it about, wasn't there? <laughs> yes. Dick Turpin. Yeah, that's carry on Dick yeah, was that yeah. as well. Yeah. I think perhaps that got perhaps the basic script for that got changed to carry on Dick because that was about 74. Yes. Or Ish, 75 yes. ish. Maybe that's what they did. It was Sid Collin uh, who wrote. Mind, do you know? I, I say this now because he's gone. Uh, but, um, what was his name? You know, the, 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 uh, Frankie. Frankie Howard. Yeah. Tricky um, chap, wasn't he? You hear such uh, oh, no. mixed opinions and sort of um, some snide sort of things about him. He was an extraordinary man. Uh, I, I had his peccadillos and so on, of course. But he, he, he worked so hard. And people never... He had a stutter. Mm -hmm. So he had to have rehearsed everything like mad. He, he would rehearse the stutter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tr oh, no. Oh, no, I've been, I've been interfered with. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, he, the, the, on, uh, on up Pompeii, he had to just stand on a chair at the end of shooting in the bar and thank the crew uh, and, you know, just put a, an end to it all. And uh, he got Sid Collin to write him a script. I rehearsed him every day. Right. And that's just for off-the-cuff thing. Wasn't Eric Morecambe like that as well, though? Didn't he have to... Every ad-lib was absolutely oh, rehearsed to the nth degree. Absolutely. You worked it out and laughed your socks off. Then you fixed it. So it wasn't the thing that was written, you know, you found new nuances. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One nuance you found, uh, I, I, I'm walking past this desk and Ernie is sitting on the floor because they have to, they, it, it, it's making him look smaller. Uh, and, uh, um, this, is, this is in the take. No. And uh, so Eric, as I go, does that, boom, like that, knocks me sprawling. All over the place, which he thought was terribly funny. It's anything we had to retake. <laughs> no, you, 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 you've got to get a camera there to see it. Can't just rely on luck. Okay. Did I tell you about Les Dawson? No. <laughs> Feel free. <laughs> Talking about so having fun. I, I mean, uh, there, there, there was it, it was this um, um, it was the Les Dawson show when he was at Thames. No, it wasn't. I think it might have been at the BBC. Can't remember. Anyway, he. Um, uh, the setting is uh, Harley Street, a consulting room, and a doctor. And um, I'm shown in by the nurse, and the doctor will be along in a moment. I said, right, fine. Uh, 
bowler hat, of course. You know, well, you know, I would never ask for a bowler hat for years. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Ronnie Barker, Ronnie Corbett, uh, Ronnie Barker, um, Harker Barker, Barker Playhouse, Ronnie Corbett, you know, that's me over here, all those. I was just always in a bowler hat. Um, anyway, I'm shown in, uh, and we, 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 on the dress, we never get to the, uh, uh, this sketch at all. Uh, so it's totally unrehearsed at take? Well, yeah, we know what we're doing, but we haven't... Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, when we, when we get to, uh, when we get to it, um, I, I'm shown in. There's a blood-curdling yell, uh, and this man falls through the door. This is unrehearsed. And he's got a spear. Oh, <laughs> he's got a spear. <laughs> I, that's it. And he goes off again. And I'm thinking, what am I doing here? <laughs> well, the door opens again, and then walks Les. A huge laugh. He said, I was just doing a bit of acupuncture. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not what gets the laugh. The thing that gets the laugh is that he has no shirt on. <laughs> and he is the hairiest person you've ever seen in your life. Square. <laughs> and uh, he's wearing a, a, a headdress, uh, black leather, and orange ostrich feathers, and a skirt made of the same material, with a bone through his nose, like that, and so things in his ears. So we get through the, the sketch. The rest of the sketch seems to go more or less, you know, <laughs> as it should do, and then, uh, until the end, where he's got to give me an injection. He said, I'm going to give you the injection. Now. He said, I said, right. He said, no, not there. He said, over there. <laughs> I said, where? Uh, he said, over there. And there's a gurney over there, you know. So he went over and got on the gate. He said, no, other way. Like that. Like that. Yes. So I'm lying on the gate. He went, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> the poison dart up the. <laughs> and you hadn't rehearsed no, on it? No, no. Wonderful. <laughs> and he'd been, you know, bribing people not to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Presumably they had a close-up on your face on some of this. I think it was on my bottom. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, unfortunately, time has just about beaten us. Oh, good. Royce. I mean, not I don't <laughs> good, I mean. But I thought, in the style of Up Pompeii and yes. Nauseous, <laughs> I've composed a little ode to you. <laughs> just take my glasses off, because I can't see with them on. <laughs> I really have to say, Royce, it feels like you're my old mucker. It's been wonderful to have you here today. Good luck, you great big comedy legend. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Roy. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much.